All right, so we're here with Jamie, Jamie Edwards. Um, he's been playing sax, saxes with the VOP. And say hi, Jamie. Hello. And uh, how did you uh, how did you get involved with VLP and you know what made you want to kind of work with us and um, yeah. How'd you get so started? I I got started with VLP I guess almost about a year ago. Um, former sax player Adam Castro. Uh, we met at UNT and uh, he had to leave the band. He was on a doing a cruise ship gig and so he gave me a call and told me to uh, check out the band and I really like what I had to hear what, on the, their uh, CD Echo Lab revisited and I uh, wanted to be a part of that sound so I came out and met the guys and um, I really liked um, the vibe of the group and uh, just the vibe of the musicians and um, how everybody, everybody interacted and enjoyed playing and uh, just really liked the, what the music had to offer. Right on, man. And uh, so, what um, what do you like about kind of working with with VLP? That you know, it's different. Uh, you know, other projects you've been involved in, and kind of what, what 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 keeps it fresh for you? You know, what do you like about it? Yeah. Um, well, I've, I haven't done a lot of other cover band stuff. Those cover band stuff that I have been involved with is kind of more by the books you know you have to stay in the lines you have to uh you're not you don't have a lot of freedom um but playing with um you know blp and um you know i have a lot of room to make my own personal statement and to to solo and to um, kind of put my own personal touch on the music which is uh, a lot more rewarding than um just playing the horn lines for a uh, september or you know for like a wedding band gig or break house, break house horn lines, you know. <laughs> uh, so you get to, I get to make up stuff too. You know, it's it's uh, more, way more creative. Oh. And um, yeah, so you know, we're doing the crowd sourcing, you know, uh, funding for some projects, and you've had a chance now to kind of, you, you know, you've been playing with us for a while, and you've been working with us now for the better part of a year, and and. Um, what are, what are some of the things that you can see now that, you know, it's makes it difficult for independent artists to, you know, produce music, release it, promote it? Um, you know, what are some of the challenges that, that you realize that, you know, that independent artists face that maybe you weren't exact, you know, you kind of knew about, but it, it was, yeah. maybe it's different experiencing. I don't know. What Can you talk, speak on that a little bit? Um, I guess it didn't, you know, being... You know, someone new to the music industry and just as a musician in, in that career field, just not knowing, you know, how much money it goes into, you know, producing a CD, um, you know, the artwork, the um, production of it, you know, uh, getting it out, um, you know, it does take take funds and, you know, it's, um, as an independent artist, you know, compared to the artists, mainstream artists, you know, they have so much... Well, I guess, you know, they have so many other people backing them up, you know, and the music can be just as good as an independent artist can, you know, the musicianship level and what they have to offer can be just as good or even better than, you know, a mainstream artist. So I think the main, you know, the independent artists, um, you know, should definitely have, um, you know, that support um, from, you know, their fans and their peers to be able to get the music out that, you know, it, it deserves to, to be. So, um, so how should people uh, help support uh, our campaign? What are what, what are the where do they need to go? What do they need to do to make it happen? Um, well, you know, just many small donations. You know, they don't have to be giving five hundred dollars, but if you want to, you can. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, just um, small donations. Um, you know, a lot of people do small donations that you know really help us. Um, go to Indiegogo um, and check uh, what, what we're, we're doing, what, uh, what projects we're trying to finish. Um, your money will be spent well, um, so you don't have to worry anything about that. Uh, and they get some thank you gifts too, right? There's some there's thank lot, you stuff. Lots of perks, so check out the perks. Um, you know, free lessons with the guys, um, interviews, um, signed posters, CDs, 
So, you know, you're, you're getting stuff out of it, too. Yeah, cool. All right, man. Thanks, Jamie. You're welcome. All righty. All right, this is, uh, this is James Montgomery, driver extraordinaire. <laughs> and, uh, no, for real, y'all, this guy, this guy did a, uh, a long, yeah, long haul from our last Lubbock trip and did it in one shot. I've only known one other guy that can, like, drive, you know, 24 hours straight without <laughs> stopping. <laughs> that was Tom Buckley from Who Do You Say I Am, man. But anyway, um... So, James Montgomery, drummer, um, back in vocals, longtime uh, BLP member. Um, man, what were, how did you get involved? How did we get, how did we get here? <laughs> uh, yeah, tell That's us. That's really weird. How did I get here? Yeah, how did uh, you get uh, here? No, really, to tell you the truth. Um, I was, uh, Vince was playing at a church uh, for where I knew the pastor. He was an uh, associate pastor at my church. And uh, he uh, left our church and went to do his own thing. And uh, Vince was there playing uh, playing guitar and heading up the, the, the program, or uh, being a music director, basically, for the program for the, for the church. And uh, his drummer was out. Um, and the pastor gave me a call and asked me if I could come and play. So I told him, sure, not a problem, because we've been long-time friends. Uh, so I came and played. Vince really liked uh, liked me playing, and he's like, hey, man, I, you know, I got this music that I've been playing with, and uh, just would you check it out and see what you think about it? And I did exactly that. So I checked it out and I saw what he, you know, and I, and I really, I was really digging it. Um, and uh, Vince was telling me that, you know, he thought about stop do, stop doing the band thing and just do the solo thing because he was just having a hard time getting people on the same page as him. Um, and with doing a group, that is pretty hard to try to find guys or girls that are all on the same page to, to, to have one goal. Well, I told Vince, I said, yo, I'm down for doing it, you know, so let's, let's get it cracked. And so we started rehearsing uh, back then that was when he was in his apartment remember that yeah <laughs> um, he was in his apartment and um, and uh, he introduced me to Taylor and uh, some of the other uh, former members of the band and uh, we just started working and starting and started getting it together I mean we started doing the little small things uh, work uh, started gigging at a little restaurant and Lantana, Texas, and uh, did that, and, you know, and it was just going from there, I mean, just helping Vince to take take the vision to the next step. Now, I do have to tell you this, the last, the first time I saw Vince and we were playing, he brought out these CDs, <laughs> <laughs> and the CDs were just blank CDs, or were were CDs that had this music written or the music on it, but it didn't have anything, any kind of packaging. And I was like, Vince, how much are these CDs? And he told me how much they were, and I was like, bro, nobody want to buy that for that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, nobody got the time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so um, I took it upon myself, like, with his permission, to make a package, to, to actually package the CD and make it worth the product that somebody would want to buy. Yeah, because I was literally making them on my home computer <laughs> and writing on them with a Sharpie. <laughs> so so I, I, I showed him the package, and he really liked it, you know. And uh, so that's how we started. And that's where, you know, and that's that's how we got our start from there. And we kind of funded, we, we started, did it all of ourselves. Yeah, we yeah. did it all ourselves, you know. I, I put in a little money that I did have to... to, to to make those CDs so that we would actually have a product that we could sell to our fans. Yeah. You know, so they knew they were proud to buy the CD and and show it to the public. Yeah. So why do you, why do you think what are some of the challenges and things that you know, how has the music industry landscape changed and especially for independent artists, you know, today and um, you know, making their own their own product and trying to release it and promote it. Um, what it's what's changed in, in in today's world for 
independent artists to have to kind of go to this crowdsource funding model? Um, why is it difficult to pay for things themselves anymore? Like, what's what do you, what do you think's changed, and why do we need their support? Well, here's the deal. You, everybody knows. Back in the day, you used to get a record uh, get a record deal. The record company would pay for everything, but you know it was it, it was it was a hit or miss deal. Well, record companies started getting started to eat get their lunch eaten on that pretty much. So they're like, well, you got to have a certain amount before we even start talking about working with you or giving you anything. Well, it worked out. I think it worked out better for the independent artists. To that now they have more control over their music. The problem is, is trying to get it out there so people can actually hear it. There are a lot of independent artists out there that are really, really good, but you'll never hear about them because you just don't take the time to listen, or don't they don't have the funding so that you can listen and hear them. And what kind of things do they need the funding for? Like, what does it go to? What does the money go to? Does it go to make them rich and kind of go oh, buy Xboxes? Heck. And no, it doesn't make them rich. Make them iPad rich Airs and no, stuff? No. It goes to studio time. It goes to graphic artists. It goes to uh, paying for a, a videographer or uh, uh, to come and do your videos or uh, getting somebody to come out and do a photo shoot for you. Uh, getting some... Uh, getting a promoter to help you promote your music on the radio or uh, uh, overseas, uh, trying to find or uh, just trying to get the package deal to get the CD out, you know, it takes money to do stuff like that, it's, and it's not cheap, Yeah, it's not cheap at all, you know, that's why when you had a record company do it, they picked up all of that, they didn't worry about that because they knew that they were going to get it on the back end, well now it's not that way. So now we've got to put up the money on the front end to be able to put it out there. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you would invest just a little bit, I mean, we're talking 25 bucks. You invest 25 bucks, you get a... That's what? That's like going out to dinner that's, that's for going a night out to or dinner. something? Yeah, it's going yeah. out to dinner. You and a... Maybe you and uh, a friend, I mean, at what? Uh, at Chili's? Well, they got the two for 25 or something like that, whatever. <laughs> you know, Nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. But, no. Uh, but, I mean, $25. You know, $25. Now, we do have, you know, there are different ways to, to give. But, I mean, if you do a minimum of $25, you're going to get the live album as a thank you, you know, uh, which is a great thing. And you're helping out an independent artist to make it so that we be able to not, we're not trying to make, we're not trying to be rich, we're just trying to take care of our bills. Yeah. Pretty much, that's all we're trying to do. Put the art out there and, and take the care art of our out bills. There and and yeah. do what we love. Right. You know, this is what God put us on this planet to do, is to make music. And for you to help us to fund that, it's a great way for you to know that you invested in quality music. I'm not saying that some of this music out here is crap, and I'm going to say that, but, Quality music is hard to find, and you've got quality music, and that's yeah. one reason why I got involved in this project, is because of quality music. So how can people, um, where do people need to go, what's the website, where do they, how do they find our campaign? And Well, where you need to go is you need to go to Indiegogo.com, okay? Go to search, put in VLP, and then you'll see our link right there, click on it, read through it and there's right off to the right hand side you'll see all the different ways that you can contribute from uh, from from $25 all the way up to 15 which if you pay, donate 15 guess what you get the whole band to come out and do a full concert with you at your house $15 no 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 $15 they ain't hanging out $15 <laughs> $15 would help us, yes, but you're not going to get us for $15. Uh, no, but 1500 right? 1500, to do the whole band house concert, all, right? Yeah, for the house concert, and uh, you get a lot of other thank yous on top of that, and just not just the house car concert as well. Yeah, because they're all, they all kind of build on each other. It's like every, every level you go up, you get not only the one that you're getting a thank you for at that level, but everything underneath it as well pretty so, much yeah, yeah pretty much pretty much there are so. some instances where you don't get it some of those things but yeah but pretty much yeah and, yeah. and 
I don't know anybody that can hire a band for that price and not have to uh, really worry about are they going to sound good or not. We always going to sound good. <laughs> All the time, baby. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Well, thanks, uh, James, for talking to us, man. And uh, yeah, I gotta get back on this road thing. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, thanks for coming up here. Yeah. On the road. All right. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road.